Hey everyone, Mike here from The Healthy Empath. I want to make this video to tell you uh, about the two keys of healing, the two most important aspects to healing. I want to share my story and I want to share about uh, what this video series is about. So I'm working on a book called The Healthy Empath and I wish it was in your hands right now. I wish I had it available to you at this moment uh, so it could be, you know, offer some guidance through through the times that, you know, we're experiencing right now and the rapid growth and expansion and just how to, um, you know, make it through as best as possible. But it's not available yet. So I'm gonna make this a video series and I'm gonna talk about what I talk about in the book. And, you know, this will probably even help me, uh, you know, with the book as well. And uh, so I wanna, I'll, I'll tell about the story, my story and the, yeah, these two key parts of healing and how it relates to the two main sections of the book and my you know the two parts of my story as well there are two most important aspects of my healing journey so there's the yeah the, the all this kind of spiritual stuff you could call it and then the physical the physical health stuff and a lot of the physical health stuff started to come before the spiritual stuff but then they've you know intertwined and then I continued to learn and then grow and expand upon both of them so in my I'll bring you back to when I first had you know, my first aha moment, aha moment, kind of yeah, awakening into uh, just like a, a different consciousness, and it happened after do you know changing. I was studying nutrition in undergrad, and then I decided you know, I was just reading in a bunch of books and just learning about all the different kinds of you know concepts, and uh, so I decided to you know start playing around. You know, I, I was fit, I was a fit guy, I was in, in good shape, but I was never, I wouldn't consider myself healthy, you know, had a lot of the brain fog and just like slow thinking, lethargic, uh, you know, I would you know, get sick every winter, you know, with colds or coughs and, you know, skin issues here and there between rashes and whatnot. And just things like that. The, the type of things that, you know, we, we kind of shrug off is just, oh, everyone just has it. It's just normal. It's just, you know, what is it for you? Oh, I get this. Oh, I get that. Uh, when in reality, you know, if you're uh, functioning at a higher state of health and you know, those things subside and then uh, they're just you know symptoms of some type of uh, imbalance and so i i changed some things nutritionally and that was a big awakening you know, moment for me because a lot of this uh, brain fog went away and lethargy and i could think straight i was you know my mind was clear sharper smarter and that like was like oh my gosh i'm not stuck the way i am and that was the yeah the, the first and the most important part to the rest of the healing because i realized that, that i can do things to change how I feel and how I am. And so if I you know, am dealing with something that I, I don't like or I don't want, there's something that I can do to change that, right? And really starting to become, you know, owning the, the responsibility for my own health and my life and the future of that. And so fast forward a bunch through, uh, yeah, through the, through the healing journey, continuing studying uh, nutrition and yeah, moving along, I'll take you into the uh, more about the, you know, the energy healing, the spirituality. And so, yeah, I, I was, my wife and I, we were traveling, we were working online, an online business. We were doing health coaching and personal training and just learning a ton and podcasting and all kinds of stuff, having, having a really great time. But still, you know, I was, you know, struggling personally just to maintain even kill, yeah, and even kill, right? The stress would really get to me and, you know, I would have to, you know, meditate and do deep breathing and eat super healthy and exercise and all of these different things just to you know, feel good throughout the day. And, and then, uh, yeah, so I come to later realize that I was, you know, just coping. I was coping with, you know, what I was dealing with and not actually getting to the deeper healing. And so coming forward to when I got into the deeper healing, yeah, and the yeah the energy healing right side. I actually had a extremely extremely strong trauma release, and just this yeah this energetic release and just all of this kinds of opening and clearing and just it was, yeah, I blew my mind. It was the the first kind of like life changing experience where I was just like yeah completely mind blown even more than the other first time with yeah some of the other things I was dealing with. This was just something even beyond that, right? And to, to have such a visceral, you know, reaction to the, you know, this healing experience that was going on when my body was just like convulsing and shaking and trembling. Like I, at one point I had to get up and I just started doing, you know, sun salutations just to help the energy go through because it was just so strong and just so much was being released. 
and you know that really woke me up to you know right after that I was like okay I'm, I'm meant to do this work like let's go I stopped doing a lot of the health coaching that I was doing and then doing more of the uh, you know the energy healing and you know practicing that and you know learning through these um, you know experiences I was having with other people you know and with, with clients and with the person who I was practicing on and then clients and then everything through on that and just being guided by spirit uh, you know showing me the, the, this world of, of energy healing, you know, of magic, of uh, ma imagination in these different realms and these worlds and consciousness. And so it really was just like a crash course in all of it um, that I definitely feel was, I didn't have any particular mentors. I mean, there was someone who, who facilitated that, that, you know, that healing weekend that I went to, but after that, it, it really just was, you know, being myself, being guided by, by spirit, by my soul, whatever you want to call it. And... <clears throat> And yeah, that so that that blew my mind, and then like going further into that, you know, just continuing to to do the healing work, constantly, you know, became super obsessed with just doing healing work on myself, like like crazy obsessed, like not not in a healthy way, and yeah, went through, went through them and went through some interesting phases, but then I uh, yeah, about six months into that, ended up you know continuing to do the healing work, and I yeah, found out that I you know I had PTSD from my deployment to Afghanistan. And yeah, that was a really insightful thing because then I, I didn't feel as like, you know, something was wrong with me. Uh, or at least I had a, a thing that was like, oh, okay, like there, there was something going on with me. I was wondering why it was so hard just to, you know, you know be you know, steady just within my own being. And so yeah, then I got really immersed in this world of, <clears throat> you know, trauma healing and you know like that you know diving into that journey and after i had that healing experience and going in i really just made this dedication uh, and promise like to my heart and I, I said i'm gonna i'm gonna this is my path and my the path my heart like like guide me i'm i'm on this path i'm doing this wherever you take me i will go let's go and i i've regretted that I mean, <laughs> at many at many points because you know it, it's not it doesn't take you into it's like oh yeah just follow the path of the heart and then it's, you know, the best thing ever, right? And it's easy and all these amazing things happen just constantly. And no, it, not, it wasn't like that at all. And it really, you know, takes you into your fears and you have to unlearn so much and to, you know, find a whole new way of living and being. So, there, you know, you're having these constant um, just, you know, ego deaths and, res and resurrections on sometimes on a daily basis. And yeah, so, that, so that, was, that was challenging, but I, you know, went through and just continued to, to follow uh, that path in my healing and use all these different healing modalities and largely, um, you know, this type of energy healing that I was doing that I was doing with clients and I was doing with myself and doing with other people and, and then other things like, um, you know, just whatever I could get my hands on yoga therapy, sound healing, acupuncture, lots of time in nature and solitude. And, um, and then when I went to Mexico for the second time, and then you know, I did various different plant medicines, to the, you know, something called yeah, sapo, and uh, which is like the five amino DMT and ayahuasca and mushrooms and peyote and sweat lodges and uh, fasting in nature. That wasn't in Mexico. This was after and um, just like a kind of like a, a vision quest style, just uh, sitting in nature for uh, the way I for this one I did it for two and a half days with no food and no water and just with your you know your prayers and your intention. And so I've definitely really committed myself to this path and I've learned so much throughout all of it, through all the lessons between all those healing experiences to the spontaneous kind of like, I guess you could call them mystical experiences that I've had uh, between having, you know, just God come and like say something like to me in a, such a like profound way. And now all of a sudden, you know, I'm just like crying like everywhere and it was, wasn't like expecting it and ready for it. And just, it was so so strong and like that, that that experience really kind of changed a lot for me and then I've had other experiences too just between you know like <laughs> sitting sitting next to a tree and all of a sudden I'm, I'm like part of this tree and like connected to this whole kind of like tree energy and you know to you know connected to you know my future self one time and uh, you know my cousin and I who went I went to the healing with we would do healing experiences uh, yeah like healing for each other we did that for a while afterwards and we would always have these incredible experiences. And then in one of them, I, we were like going through like the, you know, doing like this journey. And I connected with, uh, you know, myself, what, what, you know, which was, 
you know, it was it was me in the, in the end of this life, and I had a full conversation with him. And he he told me all these things and asked me some questions, and it um, that was that was definitely that always that stuck with me, and that always well that experience. And from what I learned, yeah, what I learned from that. So yeah, I've had all, all kinds of different like mystical experiences, crazy cool experiences um, with other people with on sessions. Um, we're doing healing sessions for other people, and then yeah, with the psychedelics, the plant medicines. So much can be drawn. I'm, I'm still constantly drawing. Oh, that's what that part was. Oh, yeah, that, I see that here now. So though, yeah, those are full of you know, a lifetime of wisdom. Just in you know the the short amount of time that I I you know, was with those medicines, and then yeah, sweat lodges and things that I've you know happened there. And so yeah, I've, I've just I've I've learned a lot in a fairly short amount of time. I mean the the experience of the book and you know the series I'm going to be teaching is really I see it over well, it was over my whole lifetime, but in particular the past ten years. Um, and then you know some of the, the the past you know three four years in terms of a lot of like the more kind of you know energetic and spiritual things. So I yeah, and I want to talk about the 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 series. So I'm doing the series, and then just I'm gonna it's gonna be like the book. So the book has two parts. Uh, it's like the spiritual and the physical, or the seen and the unseen. Is kind of how I talk about it, and so you know, in the in the spiritual, there's you know a, a lot of the topics that we'll be going over here, and that are gonna be the topics in the books are, um, you know, it's about we have we have uh, you know fear and yeah, surrender and letting go and uh, trauma and belief systems and thought forms and the subconscious mind and all you know all kinds of things like that, and then just like different things that you can do. Um, to, to that are in line with each chapter so that you can really kind of embark on your, you know, enter deeper into your own healing experience. And then the second part is, has a lot of the physical, physical stuff. So they, you know, there, there's eating and drinking, uh, breathing, um, the resting and recovery, uh, thinking, feeling, might, might, might be missing one right now, uh, moving, <laughs> that's an important one. And yeah, so I'll, I'll break all a little bit, those down a little bit and create some resources for you know how you can implement them in your life. And yeah, so so in, also the two keys that I talked about are really within these two things. So the recipe, and the, the I haven't figured out the best word I like. Yeah, key maybe like the ingredients. Uh, I might be going with ingredients. So the two most important ingredients for healing, right? And this is what both of these things do. They are relaxation and nourishment. So that was one of the biggest things to me, uh, the messages, once I embarked on that part, the, the path of the heart. And every day I was like, all right, I was just, I was ready to get out there and yeah, all right, I'm gonna just, you know, make my you know, way in the, in the world, right? Just uh, succeed and, and crush and go, and go, 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 like be on top of the world, yeah. That's not at all what happened. That's not at all where my heart guided me, man. And it really, and so I would be like, all right, you know, I would get some guidance to do something. And be like, all right, I did it, now what? And it was, yeah, the, the guidance for so long was just relax, let go, have fun, you know, surrender. And uh, that was got really frustrating because I constantly was the message. And I just like, I couldn't, I didn't want to. I was like, no, I want to. You know, I want to build my business now. I, I, I want you know, right, this lifestyle of, of freedom. Like I, I want all of that now. I want the money to do what I want to do. I, you know, I, I want the clients. I want I want to, to to learn from these. You know, hire the hire these mentors and I, you know this and that and just all right, go. And again, that was just not it. Was rest, relax, surrender, let go, and relax, relax, relax. I came up constantly, all the time. That word, relax. And then I finally <laughs> I feel now in my heart, in my throat, and I had to remind myself of it still. And then there came this time when I was in Mexico, and I was doing all this healing stuff again, and I had all these incredible experiences, and so there I was, there I was again, okay, I did all this, I'm ready, tell me what to do, <laughs> and then I get to this point, I was like, I will do anything, like, tell me what to do and I'll do it, and then it, immediately I just get, would you relax, but then it hit me in a different way. And I get chills now again. And I said, okay, I get it. And it sunk in. And so that was the time where I first actually learned 
how to relax and what it feels like. And that is so important for trauma, for PTSD, right? So the PTSD is when you're, you're sympathetic dominant, you know, your nervous system is always in fight or flight, right? I was always on edge, always heightened, always hypersensitive, always scanning, right? Always, you know, looking for threats, always, you know, problem, problem solving in some way. And just, you know, certain things would set me off, whether emotionally or physically, loud, loud noises and just all these different things, super hypersensitive to it. And so, yeah, the, the opposite of, of that is relaxation. When you're calm, you can stop scanning for all these threats. You can stop, you know, worrying. You can stop all of that. You can just be in your place of, you know, your heart. And when it comes to healing, so whatever it is that you're healing, whether it is you're working on a health challenge, this definitely relates to that, or whether you're just, you don't have a specific health challenge, but you're just, you know that you have some type of you know, some blocks and you know maybe you are wanting to like you know start you know your business or you're wanting to yeah like if you are you on your purpose and your career or just anything like that then yeah it's so important to be able to relax because when you relax that's when everything can come through everything that you need can come through and that's where you can be in your power um and allow yeah allow that space and that's when you can heal yourself you can hear your higher guidance you can be more intuitive you can uh, you know, be in touch with your empathic guests when you are able to relax. And then of course, when we're, we're healing our physical bodies, right? So if you, it, whether it's, yeah, any kind of whatever disease you have, you need to relax so that your body can heal because you're creating space when you relax, right? All the energy of your body isn't going to whatever it needs to be doing in that hyper state. So from a physiological perspective, right? When you're in fight or flight, right? You have a decreased blood flow to your stomach, um, you know, a decreased blood flow to, you know, other, just where other parts that, you know, you might not need and you have, you know, the increase in cortisol and you're just, you know, you're more on edge. So you're not, you know, your body thinks that you don't, you know, need energy to, to heal and to relax because you need energy to, to fight or to run. So if you want to heal and if you were again, you want to heal your physical body an illness disease or you want to embody your soul and your purpose in your heart you have to relax and that's what all of these spiritual you know that the part of the the book that i'm talking about everything within there right the the thought forms the belief systems the subconscious mind uh the surrender the trauma the 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 safety yeah being safe in your in your body and being safe on earth all these when you're healing all these things and when you're embodying you know, yourself deeper and deeper one way to see that of what is all that doing you are relaxing or you're relaxing you know creates a space for that and then there's the physical side and the second ingredient which is the nourishment right so you you create the space for the healing and then you nourish your body and that is you know it needs the ingredients and the tools and and then you also need to maintain um, the health of your energy body and your, your, of your physical body. So it's, it's important to have the proper movement. You know, you need to, you need to move, you need to have energy moving. And so that's why a big part of it is, you know, help people get away from thinking things in terms of, you know, calories and all that stuff. And you start to look at just energy moving. Like, I don't want you to burn calories. I don't want you to do any of that. I just want you to get energy moving. Like that's it. Just move. And yeah, so there's moving and then nourishing your body with, um, you know, new proper nutrition, everything that it needs, right? Like the, the, these building blocks. And then you, know, you have the, the relaxation as a part of that, right? Like resting, recovery, again, this is all. A, so all these physical things are also allowing you to relax as you're nourishing as well. And then they're all allowing your nervous system to calm down, all right? And so if you are, don't necessarily have, you know, like I said, this specific, you know, maybe a health diagnosis or something like that, but you're just, you know, you're an empath and you know, you have some trauma. The physical practices are very important because they're, you know, relating to your physical body and your nervous system. So the physical practices are also allowing your body to relax. So I've even stripped it out to the one main ingredient, the most important thing in healing in, yeah, all of this is relaxation, right? Calming down. Um, and that's, you know, when you can really start to be in your power. So those physical practices are going to help you 
relaxing, you're, like, you're nourishing, you're nourishing, you're providing everything your body needs. And then that's kind of like also like the main part of the maintenance too, making sure it doesn't happen again or that you, you know, you're more resilient now. So you have a higher tolerance, you know, right? When you're more resilient to whatever's happening in your life to, to stressors, right? So if you're eliminating all these stressors from poor breathing patterns, poor sleep patterns, nutritional stressors, um, you know, drinking water. Um, so if you know if you're not drinking, you know, good water, and so everything there, those are all stressors. Yeah, you know, that you can be found in the in the physical. But I'm not moving, right? If you're not moving, those are all stress. So if you take all those away by bringing the you know the healthy options within all of those sections, you've just freed up so much space in terms of the stress that you can handle. So now you can handle the business stress and you can handle the family stress and the relationship stress, the stress of facing your shadow, the stress of facing your fears, right? And then of course, once you're, you know, you're doing the emotional work too, which is in the, the spiritual, the unseen side and that, you know, all that healing, um, all the, all the healing stuff within there. So when you're doing that, then you're also freeing up, right? If you don't have as much trauma within you and these stuck emotions, um, so when you, something does happen in, you know, business or in your relationship, it's not going to affect you as much because, you know, you don't have those wounds within you, your, your, your energy body is healthier, it's more healed. And then as an empath, right? So now when things are coming in from the collective or from other people in your family or people just from grocery shopping, then, you know, you can handle more of it. You can filter it. You can process it in a way that it's not going to negatively affect you or it's not going to over, um, just overflow the bucket of stress, right? Because you have taken out all these other stressors and you've built, it, built resiliency. So one, you've decreased what was in the bucket and you've expanded the bucket at the same time. So you are now a more resilient human being, more capable of doing whatever you want to do, doing whatever you came here on earth to do, right? Um, whatever, yeah, is the burning desire in your heart, whatever your passion is, that you know is will be uncomfortable because you're gonna have to face a lot of fears. You now have so much more space and capacity to do that. And so that's what the series is gonna be about. That's what the book is gonna be about. And uh, let me know if you have any questions along the way, or if you want to, you know, engage and chat with me. And then I would be happy to talk to you. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll create the the first official video. Uh, there, there was a lot in this. Started uh, getting going a little bit about the. The healing relaxing but yeah then we'll go into the actual okay like what does it look like what are the what are the steps what are the pieces and i'll break down some of these chapters that i talked about um probably starting with uh, being an empath and safety and your body and the, learning to love the human experience so thanks for tuning in much love travel lightly take care